Hey guys, Silent Knight here. So I've been getting a lot of questions about my mod Better Balance Combat and the manual install process. The amount of questions about the mod and the manual install process or a number of other things has inspired me to create this video because things on the Nexus page have gotten kind of wordy. And something I've learned over the years as a mod author is if things look wordy, people automatically assume that they are difficult to install, which is just not the case with Better Balance Combat. So in this video, I'm going to cover a mod manager in install. I'm going to cover a manual install. I'll cover how to customize your install. I'll cover where the plugins need to load in your load order. I'll go over the auto patcher and I'll even do a little overview in game with the mod. Better Balance Combat is an overhaul for the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind's combat system. It modernizes combat by doing away with the dice roll hit chance and turning Morrowind's combat into an action combat system. It also takes into account that the game was not made for such a system and so it changes many things in the game to allow for it to work while maintaining a game balance. Better Balance Combat works with or without MWSE, with or without MGEXE, and with or without OpenMW. The one limitation it does have is it works best when you use it on a new save, as loading it on an old save will not apply the Better Balance Combat effects to NPCs you've already seen on that save. So first things first, when you go to install my mod, you need to look at the prerequisites. And currently those prerequisites are only Tribunal, Blood Moon, and the Blood Moon 1.6 patch. Now, if you have the Game of the Year edition, you're automatically set on all of these. Most, if not all, digital copies of the game are the Game of the Year edition. These notes are really here just for people with old copies of the game. If you are someone with a really old copy of the game and you go to that official patch page and you have both Tribunal and Blood Moon already, the only thing you need to do to bring your copy up to date with the digital copies that people have now is to download that Blood Moon 1.6 patch. You can ignore all the other patches there. Moving on from the prerequisites, you need to make sure that your game doesn't have any mods that are going to conflict with Better Balance Combat. To do so, you can see the compatibility section of the Nexus page. This section is pretty wordy, but don't let that scare you, Better Balance Combat is compatible with pretty much anything with three exceptions. The first is less of an incompatibility and more of just a game balance issue. Items, spells, and enchantments added by other mods will not be affected by the balance changes of Better Balance Combat unless a patch for said mod is officially created by me. I'm officially supporting three mods for this, Morrowind Rebirth, Tamriel Rebuilt, and the Morrowind official plugins that were put out by Bethesda. If another mod you want to use with Better Balance Combat adds items, spells, or enchantments, I can't guarantee game balance with said items. This does not make them incompatible, it just means your game balance will be affected. The next exception is an actual incompatibility, and it's with mods that change how much you can carry based on your strength. You can still use mods that change this value, but if you load them before Better Balance Combat like you normally would, that value will be overwritten by vanilla values. To force this value to carry over, sometimes you could load said mod after Better Balance Combat. However, this would cause a weird glitch where you would end up being able to carry more or less if you have your weapon out than if you don't. Finally, the last incompatibility is with mods that patch Morrowind Rebirth and Tamriel Rebuilt to work together. I've decided to not support such mods for the near future. This is because there isn't really a standard patch that does this and is constantly updated. Mods like this normally go obsolete pretty fast as both Tamriel Rebuilt and Morrowind Rebirth are in active development. Unless one of these mods becomes a standard and is updated frequently, or unless Tamriel Rebuilt and Morrowind Rebirth halt development and a patch comes out, I won't be supporting this type of thing. And that right there is pretty much everything you need to know about incompatibility. There are more mods that are incompatible out of the box, but I've included a program that I have dubbed the Auto Patcher that will patch these mods to work with Better Balance Combat. More on that later. Now that you've checked requirements and learned about compatibility, it's time to actually start the install. Let's begin with a Mod Manager install. Head over to the Files tab on the Mods Nexus page and you'll see a single file. This download includes Better Balance Combat and all of the patches and optional files. For a Mod Manager, 
manager install, you'll simply click mod manager download. Once you've done that, a pop-up will appear reminding you of the prerequisites before you install. Click download. Then you'll choose slow or fast download depending on if you have Nexus Premium or not. I do not yet, so I'll click slow download. A side note on that, thanks to you guys and anyone who has installed any of my mods, I have enough donation points to afford the lifetime premium membership. I just have to wait for the donation point payout. So thank you everybody. Depending on your web browser and previous settings, you may get a pop-up asking you if you want to open this link in another program. And in my case, that program would be Vortex because that's the mod manager that I've chosen. Once I do that, it will open Vortex and start downloading the mod in the downloads tab. Once it's done, you can hit install on the mod and it will start installing. This is when the custom foam mod installer will appear. The first thing it will ask you is if you have Morrowind Rebirth installed, and if so, you'll want to choose the complete edition or the custom install. The Morrowind Rebirth version is a separate version. It's not a patch. So if you choose the Morrowind Rebirth version complete or custom, the installer will skip asking you about the vanilla game and Tamriel Rebuilt. Regardless of if you want to play Morrowind Rebirth, vanilla, or Tamriel Rebuilt, I normally always recommend choosing the complete editions. The complete edition includes everything in their respective customized options in a single ESP plugin. The customized option breaks out that single ESP into multiple ESPs with different features. Simply by choosing customize, you will be getting a base module ESP plugin. This is the base of the mod. There are no balance changes and the extra effects that people use such as the speed buff, magicka regeneration, fatigue regeneration, or the removal of annoying combat messages are not there by default. From there you'll be able to choose different modules that add on to that base module. Each one you choose will install a separate ESP plugin. There are three modules you can choose from. The first is the effects module which changes effects in the game to more suit better balanced combat. If doing a custom install, I almost always recommend to get this module at least. This was a huge reason I created this mod in the first place as other mods that did similar things to combat didn't account for the fact that the game was not balanced around this type of combat. The next type of module is the weapon stats module. This type of module rebalances weapons to better suit the action combat style. The Morrowind Rebirth custom install of better balanced combat does not include this option and that's because Morrowind Rebirth already has a system for rebalancing weapons. The last type of module is the extras module. This includes the magicka and fatigue regens as well as the speed boost and the removal of annoying combat messages. The extras module will only not be found in the Tamriel Rebuilt custom install because the Tamriel Rebuilt patch requires better balanced combat vanilla to be installed as well and you can just use the extras module for that. Now that you've learned a little bit about custom installs, let's back it up a little bit and just do the most basic install anyone could do. That is the complete edition without Tamriel Rebuilt or Morrowind Rebirth. I'll show you how that looks now. Regardless of whether you're installing for Morrowind Rebirth, Tamriel Rebuilt, or the vanilla game, you'll eventually end up on this page here. This page includes small patches and optional files. Currently, there is only the patch for the Siege of Fire Moth official Bethesda plugin and the Advanced Mode optional plugin. The Advanced Mode plugin adds skill effects back to enchanting and spell making. By default, Better Balanced Combat removes these because the way it functions only allows for them to work when used on self now. They don't work if targeting NPCs anymore. Be aware of that if using the advanced mode plugin because it will add these effects back to spellmaking and enchanting. On the next page, you'll have an option to install the auto patcher that I mentioned earlier. There are three different reasons you might need the auto patcher. The first is if you use any mods that add custom NPC races. The second is if you use any mods that add custom creature types. And the third is if you're doing a weird install where you want to load a mod that edits vanilla races or creature types after better balanced combat. If you're unsure and use a ton of mods, it might just be safe to go ahead and get it and run it anyway. It won't hurt anything. Likewise, if this is the only mod you want to run or you're sure the mods you're using don't meet any of the categories I talked about a second ago, then you don't need the auto patcher at all. So if you want it, go ahead and grab the version for your operating system. We'll talk about how to use it later on in the video. When you move on from this page, you will be done customizing your options and the mod will be installed. Now you'll just have to enable it in your mod manager. Once that's done, you'll want to sort your plugins. But before that, let me show you how to do a manual install.
For a manual install, you're going to go to the Nexus mod page, then go to the Files tab, and then click on Manual Download. It will remind you of the mod requirements, and then you click Download again, and then you choose Slow or Fast Download. Your web browser will then start downloading to your default download location, or it will ask you where you want to download the file to. Once you've finished downloading the file, you'll need a program called 7-Zip to unzip it. Once you have 7-Zip installed, you'll need to extract the mod's archive. To do this, you'll right-click on it, go to the 7-Zip context menu, and then choose Extract Files. A box will appear and you'll press OK. Once this is done, you can delete the .7z file you downloaded from the Nexus. Then you'll want to go into a folder of the same name that has been created wherever you had the 7z file. Manual installs aren't guided like the FOMOD installer is, so you'll first need to ask yourself a few questions. The first question is, do I want to play Morrowind Rebirth, or do I want to play Vanilla? Or do I want to play vanilla with Tamriel Rebuilt? If you want to play Morrowind Rebirth, you'll simply head into the Morrowind Rebirth folder, where you'll then be greeted with a complete folder and a modules folder. If you want the complete install, all you have to do is go into the complete folder and copy that ESP into your Morrowind data files folder. If you would rather have a custom install, you would instead go into the modules folder, copy the base module ESP into your data files folder, and then copy along with it any of the other modules in the same folder you would like to use. I covered what each custom install module does in the mod manager install section of the video, but just in case you skipped it, I will repeat myself quickly here. The base module is the bare minimum the mod needs to work. You need this to install any of the other modules on the same folder. The effects module contains changes to effects and items in the game world that allow it to work better with 100% hit chance. I highly recommend always using this module with a custom install. The next type of module is a weapon stats module that changes weapons to work better with action combat. You won't find this module in the Morrow and Rebirth version because Rebirth already rebalances weapons. The next type of module is the extras module, which contains the magicka and fatigue regens, the removal of annoying combat messages, and the speed buff. You won't find this in the Tamriel Rebuilt folder because the Tamriel Rebuilt patch is a patch and it requires the base game better balanced combat to work, and the base game better balanced combat already includes an extras module. Now let's back out of the Morrowind Rebirth folder so I can show you a little bit more about the structure of this directory. You saw earlier that the Morrowind Rebirth folder contains the Better Balanced Combat plugins for Morrowind Rebirth. Similarly, the main folder contains these plugins for the base game, and the Tamriel Rebuilt folder contains these plugins for Tamriel Rebuilt. These folders are structured the same way as the one you just saw, and they're installed the same way. Now one note on this, if you're installing for Morrowind Rebirth, you're only going to be using files from the Morrowind Rebirth folder. These are not compatible with files that are found in the main folder and in the Tamriel Rebuilt patch folder. This is different if you want to install for Tamriel Rebuilt, in which case you need the files from the main folder and the files from the Tamriel Rebuilt folder. If you don't use Morrowind Rebirth or Tamriel Rebuilt, you can ignore their respective folders entirely. Some other folders you might notice in the main mod directory include the Small Patches and Optionals folders. Small Patches is the folder all include smaller patches for smaller mods that don't need to be customizable. The only one you'll find in there at the time of recording is the patch for Bethesda's official plugin, Siege at Fire Moth. Similarly, the Optionals folder contains small plugins that do various things. The only one that's in in there right now is the advanced mode plugin, which adds skill effects back to spellmaking and enchanting. Better Balanced Combat removes those by default because of the way the mod works, which renders them useless when used on NPCs. They do still work when targeting self though, that's why I've included this plugin. Just keep that in mind if you decide to use this plugin. Speaking of using these optionals and small patches, it doesn't matter what you're installing for. Rebirth, Rebuilt, or just vanilla, you can still use these if you want to. All you do is install them the same way, just drag them to your data files folder. Back in the mod directory, you'll also notice the FOMOD and images folders. You can ignore these because these are only helpful for the FOMOD installer for mod manager users. This brings us to the last folder we'll talk about, the auto patcher folder. This can be ignored if you don't want to install the auto patcher. 
The auto patcher is required for some mods to work properly with better balanced combat. Mods that require this are mods that add custom races or creature types. You will also need the auto patcher if you want to load any mod after better balanced combat that edits vanilla races or creature types. If you have a lot of mods and you're unsure, then just go ahead and get it anyway. It doesn't hurt anything. Likewise, if you're not using any other mods or you're sure the mods you're using don't fit those categories, then you can just go ahead and ignore this. To install the auto patcher, open the auto patcher folder and move the loose files in that folder over to your data files folder. Next, back in the auto patcher folder, open up the folder for your operating system and move the file inside over to your data files folder as well. And that's all you need to know about manual install. Once you're installed, you'll move on to sorting your load order. You'll most likely need to do this regardless of install method. A mod manager will include a way to do this. OpenMW players, the OpenMW launcher will also include a way to do this. If you have a mod manager and OpenMW, your mod manager will manage your Morrowind load order and your OpenMW launcher will manage your OpenMW load order. If you went for the manual install because you didn't want to install any extra programs, you can still sort your plugins. First, you're going to want to open the Morrowind launcher. Then you're going to go to data files and enable all of the better balanced combat plugins that you chose to install. After you're done with that, press OK, then exit out of the Morrowind launcher and go back to your Morrowind game folder and open Morrowind.any in a text editor. You'll need to look for the game file section and this is how you'll sort your load order by manually editing the text in the section. On screen is an example of how to do that. Don't forget to save. When it comes to the actual order of things, you'll want to load Better Balance Combat at the very end of your load order almost all of the time. The only exception is when you're an advanced user using other mods that have been overwritten by Better Balance Combat and you want to see their specific change in the game. When it comes to the load order of the Better Balanced Combat plugins themselves, you should load the complete version if you didn't go for customization, or the base version if you went for customization, followed by the optional modules. In the case of Tamriel Rebuilt, you would do this first for the main plugins, and then second for the Tamriel Rebuilt plugins. After that, you should load small patches and then optional plugins. Here's an example of a simple install load order, and here's another example of an advanced install load order. Now that we've covered load order, it's time to talk talk a little bit about the auto patcher. I already explained the installation of the auto patcher in the install section and the reasons why you might need it. Essentially, the auto patcher finds all NPCs and creatures in your load order that are not officially supported by Better Balanced Combat, and it creates a new plugin that patches said NPCs and creatures so that the Better Balanced Combat effects are applied to them. To create an auto patch, you'll need to navigate to your Morrowind data files directory and run the BBC autopatcher.exe. On the first run, it will need to find your Morrowind and or OpenMW configuration files. It will start by looking for OpenMW.cfg. If it can't find this file in its default location, it will ask you if you're using OpenMW or not. If you are, you'll need to find this file in Windows Explorer and copy the path into the auto patcher when it asks you to. If you're not using OpenMW, it will just look for your Morrowind any file which is in your game directory. If during the setup process you get an error about a missing Morrowind.any, then you will need to make sure you run the game at least once. Additionally, if you're setting up the auto patcher to not use OpenMW and it keeps finding OpenMW.cfg, this means that you have installed OpenMW in the past and you'll need to find the CFG file and delete it. Its default location on Windows seems to be in Documents, My Games, OpenMW. Once you have everything configured, finish going through the prompts and it will create your first auto patch. On future runs, you won't need to configure it anymore. If for whatever reason you need to rerun the initial setup, all you have to do is delete the BBC autopatcher.cfg file that's been created in your data files folder. Once the auto patcher is finished, it will have created a BBC autopatch.esp file in your data files folder. You should make sure this plugin always loads absolutely last in your load order. You should also be sure to rerun the auto patcher whenever you add any mods to your load order that need it to be compatible with Better Balance Combat. If you use a mod manager, you can create a shortcut within the mod manager to the auto patcher for easy access. If when you create the shortcut, the mod manager asks if you want to run the program in shell or not, you're going to want to do so. Now that we've covered all the information regarding a mod manager install, a manual install, your load order, and the auto patcher, let's get in game and show you what this mod can do. 
Now that we're in game, I'd like to show off what the mod does. Please note that the features you have in your game will vary depending on your install. Firstly, I'm going to run around here for a little bit and you'll see just how much faster I am compared to the vanilla game. Also pay special attention to the fatigue bar as it's going down here. When I stop, it's going to start regenerating, albeit very slowly. And the same thing will happen with the magicka bar as I use some of it to cast spells here that I'm failing miserably at. Also, you might notice there are no annoying pop-up messages saying that I failed to cast the spell. I know I failed because nothing's happening. Now let's take a look at our status effects. This is where you'll see all the better balance combat effects that are applied to your character. If you have a weapon out while you view these, you'll notice more effects being applied than if you don't have a weapon out. The two extra effects you'll notice are the strength buff and the burden effect. I have a dagger out, which is a short blade, and your short blade skill will be used to calculate the amount of strength buff you get. You'll receive a one point strength buff for every five points and said weapon type skill that you have. So because my short blade skill is at 40, I will get an eight point strength buff whenever I'm wielding a dagger. Boosting strength boosts the amount of damage you do, but it also increases the amount you can carry. We don't want that for this mod, so that's what the burden effect is. It's to cancel out that carry buff that you'll get when you have a weapon out. The strength buff tied to weapon skills and better balanced combat is necessary because weapon skills in the vanilla game only affect your hit chance with the specific weapon types. They don't affect damage. So I needed to do something to give them meaning again. Lastly, you'll notice the fortify attack 100 effect, which is the effect that gives you 100% hit chance. Some people would argue that this would make the game too easy, but because better balanced combat buffs NPCs and creatures in the game, this is not the case at all. They also have 100% hit chance, as well as a strength and speed buff and a magicka and fatigue regen. Others also argue that because of 100% hit chance and the fatigue regen, that the game would be too easy because it would make the fatigue mechanic irrelevant. This couldn't be farther from the truth. Fatigue is still very important because the lower fatigue you have, the higher chance that you're going to get knocked down. When you get knocked down, you'll still get swarmed and annihilated. So no, you're most likely not going to hop fresh off the boat and eliminate everyone in Satanin with the Iron Dagger. <laughs> Lastly, I wanted to show you an example where better balance combat changes an item effect to better fit 100% hit chance. For example, what I have here is Elton Brand. Elton Brand is a unique longsword in Morrowind that has a passive effect of fortifying your attack. If you remember from earlier, fortify attack is the status that increases your hit chance. If your hit chance is always 100% with better balance combat, fortifying it won't do you any good. That's why I've converted this effect into a fortify strength effect instead. You can find hundreds of other little changes like this in better balanced combat to allow Morrowind to accommodate the action combat system. And with that, you've learned everything you need to know about modernizing Morrowind's combat with better balanced combat. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you like the mod, give it an endorsement. And if you like me, hit that subscription button, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.